In this video, I'm going to be talking about the articulation exercises. In the first six measures, we are doing hammer-ons, and we're using the six possible combinations of fingers. So in the, each measure can be taken as an exercise in itself to be repeated. A hammer-on happens whenever you pick one note and then use a finger to hammer on to a note on the same string that is higher in pitch on a higher fret. So in the first measure, I'm playing the fifth fret with my pick and then hammering on to the sixth fret with my middle finger. Now for hammer on technique, I find that it's helpful to keep my finger uh, bent at the first joint. It, the fingers have a motion kind of like pistons. So it's not necessary to come from way back. In fact, that makes it harder to be accurate. The thing is, you want the motion to be quick and forceful so that you hear a clear note when you do your hammer on. So in measure one, we're, we're going from the fifth fret to the sixth fret on the second string. Always picking the fifth fret and hammering on for the sixth fret. In the second measure, we use our first and third fingers. So like this, fifth fret and seventh fret. Then we use our first and fourth fingers, picking the fifth fret, hammering on to the fourth fret. Again, it's good to keep the finger curled like this, and then the motion is like a piston. It takes practice. You don't have to go back real far. You just need to make sure that your finger is properly curled and that your motion is quick and forceful. Uh, in measure four, we're using fingers two and three. In measure five, we use the second and fourth fingers, so playing the sixth fret on the second string and the eighth fret, picking the sixth fret, and then hammering on to the eighth fret. The symbol for hammer on um, is often uh, a line that looks like a tie. Uh, when the notes are different, it's actually called a slur, so it's a little half moon looking thing. Okay, and then in measure six, we're using our third and fourth finger. So we pick the seventh fret and hammer on to the eighth fret. Then in measure seven, we start the pull-off exercises. And a pull-off is executed by picking a note. And then you need to be pressing simultaneously on a lower note so that when you pull down, with your finger, the lower note will sound. So I pick the sixth fret, and I use my middle finger to pull that second string down towards the floor, kind of like I would do if I was just plucking it without picking. Same kind of motion. And what I do sometimes is I let my finger rest on the string directly underneath the one that I'm doing the pull off on. So in <coughs> measure seven, we pick the sixth fret, we're pressing down on the fifth fret, so then when we pull the string down towards the floor and make it sound, we hear the note of the fifth fret. So, pick, pull, pick, pull. And in the subsequent measures, we are just using different finger combinations. There are six possible finger combinations between uh, the four fretting fingers that you typically use. So then in measure 13, we introduce hammer-ons and pull-offs. And so the way this would work is we would pluck the first note in the measure. But after that, we hammer on to the sixth fret and pull off to the sixth fret for the rest of the measure. In measure 14, we're using the first and fifth string. So we're going from the seventh fret to the fifth fret. Or rather, uh, in measure 14, we begin with picking the fifth fret on the second string using our first finger. 
And then we hammer on to the seventh fret with our third finger. And then we pull off to the fifth fret, hammer to the seventh, pull to the fifth, hammer to the seventh for the rest of the measure. So uh, in measure 13 through um, 18, you pick the first note in the measure, and then after that, it's all hammer ons and pull offs. Going through the six combinations possible for fingering. In measure 19, we reverse it so that we we pick the sixth fret and then do a pull off to the fifth fret, and then the rest of the measure is hammer ons and pull offs. So just pick the first note in the measure, then hammer on and pull off for the rest of the notes in the measure. Uh, then in measure 20, we start with the seventh fret, we pick that note pull off to the seventh fret, and then from that point on, all hammer-ons and pull-offs. You'll notice there's one big long slur that connects all the notes there. So, in measure 19 through 24, you are picking the first note in the measure, and then using hammer-ons and pull-offs for the others. In measure 25, we introduce slides. And uh, the first thing that's done is just sliding up into a note. So rather than picking and then sliding, the slide and the pick are simultaneously happening. So you can decide you can slide up, you know, from two frets down or one fret down. The main thing is that we hear that slide into the fifth fret. So we're coming up from underneath. And to get a good slide sound, you need to make sure that you keep the pressure on the string the whole time. If you release the pressure on the string, then the note will die. And it's good to try the slide with different fingers. Uh, you'll use different fingers at different times to play slides. So then the next one is sliding downwards into the fifth fret. So you can go from one fret above, or two frets above, So here, the pick and the slide are simultaneous, and you just need to put your brakes on when you reach the fifth fret, because that's the note that we want to hear. Then, in measure 27, we play the fifth fret, pick that, and then we keep the pressure on and slide up to the seventh fret. So here, you're hearing two discrete pitches. Fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret. And again, it's good to try that with different fingers. And then in measure <coughs> 28, we are sliding up from the third fret to the fifth fret. Pick the third fret, keep the pressure on, and slide up to the fifth fret. Again, each measure on this sheet can be used as an exercise to repeat, be repeated over and over again.